But I think that's more wide open than what we're aiming at. Uh, but I think what you're talking about is a really interesting experiment. And personally, I, I think the, the uh, let me say the challenges and then the what I think the benefits would be or how you would sell that, right? Uh, so first you want a community that w is willing to participate. Then you need someone to fund that development. Now, you're not going to be able to prove to the financiers who are funding that development that it's actually going to be profitable as a game, because you don't know what the game's going to be yet. So the marketing department would never sign off and say, yes, it's a really not yet. However, the PR department might say, are you kidding? If we do this well, it should be a TV show. We can, just on PR benefits, we can get all kinds of press opportunities, we can get brand exposure. This is a brilliant you know, uh, 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 visibility opportunity for PR. So if you, if it's framework in that sense, I think as an experiment, it could be very successful. Um, but, but what the fruit of it will bear uh, is, is truly an experiment that leads to an unknown place. Case in point would be, you know, Encyclopedia Britannica was supposedly the the um, depot of of qualified information on the globe, right? And then Wiki comes along and says. No, we're letting anyone qualify and challenge and answer in this. And the, the authorities and the experts said, this is just going to be a total disaster. This is garbage. How does it? Well, what we find out today is that Wiki is a more credible source than Encyclopedia Britannica. And it's because of that audience loop and feedback. So I think the idea is a fascinating one. As it relates to us, what we see is we see other, other things, and we're looking at it in a slightly different way. Um, one of the questions that we've always been asked by financiers, especially if you raise venture capital, which is different from raising money from a publisher. A publisher has a product that they need for a certain quarter, financial quarter, and they need to keep that pipeline full, and they are going to be paying for games. If you go to a venture capitalist, they have no interest in games. Why is what you're presenting going to make money? And they might be open to a whole slew of different things. Well, one of the questions we were always asked was, if if today, what is your customer doing today that they're going to stop doing tomorrow so that they can fill that time with your offering? And I always hated that question because it's such a damn good question, you know? And as a content creator, as a designer, you want to say, what are you kidding, man? We're just gonna, it's going to be badass and we are, it's going to be great. What do you mean? How dare you? You know, because we're, we're going to be better and they're going to like that. And, you know, it's really a weak answer. And... What we started looking at over the last few years is where is the human attention span going to? You know, YouTube didn't exist when we released Stranger. Not really. I mean, it was just like beginning. Uh, Facebook was just getting launched, right? Now, how much time out of people's days are they spending on social networks? Are they spending with social media? How much time are they not watching where we used to have to advertise to them on cable networks, on Fox and whatever, to get advertising impressions? Now they're not even watching cable at all. They're watching YouTube videos. So we have all this change in where has people's attention span gone? And what we're seeing is we're going, how do we take the, how do we not say to you, play this IP with these characters in this story. Take off your real world hat and put on our hat and enjoy our world for a little while. Instead, right now, what Oddmob is about is we're looking at that and going, who are you enjoying right now? What, and who, what people are you connected to that you have relationships with? What media are you sharing? How is, what's going on there? For example, on Facebook, every hour, 150 years of linear video is being shared between people. Every hour. Every day, YouTube is serving 2 billion videos. Now, 2 billion videos served is more than all the networks and all the cable companies combined have served in their lifetime. Now, this is happening daily on the social network. So what we're looking at is we go, how do we take the content you're already spending more of your mind share on in the time of your day, and the reason you're doing it is because you like it more. And who are you sharing that with? How do we richen and gamify those relationships, your relationship to an endless library of media out there, social media, and an endless possibility of human connections, the social network. How do we bring those together in a gamified way? And that's what Oddmob's about. And so in that course, we're looking a lot at where are they already, and being that be the pickup point too, let's get their feedback and see how this is rolling forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.